Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Momodo Fred Yakubu and I am so excited to have you here today. Today I will be sharing a quick tip on how you can input scores into the DAISY's Academic Edu Portal. Whether you are looking for ways to input scores as a subject or class teacher, I've got you covered. Through my videos, I hope to inspire, educate and entertain you. So, if you are ready to dive in and learn more about any topic related to this, hit that subscribe button and like this video and don't forget to share with other colleagues. Let's dive in as we explore and grow together. So, first and foremost, I am already here on my web browser and today I am going to be impersonating one of the class teachers of Daisy's Academy. So, today I am going to be impersonating Mr. Roland. So I'm going to be presenting Mr. Roland. So Mr. Roland, with your permission, please let me dive in. So I will put in the user details and the password, then I will make sure to tick this I'm not a robot button. When that is done, then you click the login. Allow the network to do its thing, and this will drop us down to the Mr. To Mr. Roland's dashboard. From this dashboard, we can navigate our way to any part of the website. Alright, so for those of us that are going to be doing this on mobile, you may need to log into your account, you might not be seeing this navigation bar. Instead, you might just be seeing only this hamburger at the top left corner of your screen. Don't hesitate to click on this hamburger to reveal this side nav bar. So from this nav, side nav bar, we are going to be looking for the examination Moodle. While we are there, first of all, I am going to be imputing this as a subject teacher. Then I will impute as a what class teacher. So while we are at the examination Moodle, the next thing we need to do is to click on the examination module to review all the subheadings underneath it. And you can see from our list here, we have the first one which is the subject teacher's score. So I'm going to be clicking on the subject teacher's score to review all the subjects that Mr. Roland have access to. You can see from this, he has, Mr. Roland is taking them agricultural science and also is taking them basic science. So I'm going to be clicking on the first one which is the year 7 to 9 classes, agricultural science. I will click on the inserts under the insert score tab. So I'll click on this, allow it to load up. Then, because we're in second term, I'm going to be clicking on the word second term uh, button. So allow that to also load up. Okay, yeah, I am in all the classes in the junior categories. So we have year 7 to year 9. So the first one we have here is the year 7 job. For me to insert the scores, I will just click on select the year 7 job. Then click on any of the above. It's alright. Then you can, this is where you impute the score. You can either use this uh, arrow button, directional button to either impute, increase or reduce the score or you can easily I like everything and put the exact number you like to put there for the child. Like in this case, it's Ogbe Jaden. So then for the exam, I can also do that the same and put maybe 40 over 60 for the person. Mr. Roland, please don't forget to change all these scores. So when you are done, you come you come over here and what do you do? You submit. When you submit it, it takes you to the page where you can continue to add another class. You click this, you can take it to the next class, which is year eight. Sorry, year seven love. Pardon, year seven love. Then you can also do the same thing and repeat the same processes. So that is all you need to know as a subject teacher. All right, then let's see how you can now increase score as a subject teacher. So still at that navigate bar you will click on the word examination Moodle and click on what insert second term score allow that to load up 
to review all the children in his class because this time around we are in, we are going to be inserting scores according to the class so these are all the children in his class in case you want a long list of these you can come here on this drop down and make it 100 or 50 depending on the class size so let's see how many entries we have here we have just 22 entries so this is pretty much all the people all the students in the class so for those of us in senior category or junior category or primary category you did you make use of the numeric result broadsheet while for those of us in crutch or on play group you make use of what the alpha please don't forget the, those of them in crutch and play group they make use of the alpha while from foundation they are about to make use of the word the numeric is that okay so i'm going to be putting score for one of the child the lesson would be using a basel mature or a real like anyone the same thing for all of them just click on this numeric then when it's open up you impute all the score this is is handwriting this is a handwriting verbal game sports the affective domain and the psychomotor then also here we have the behavior punctuality you know what to do as a class teacher just feel it about the child then this is where you now feed all the subjects this is for ca just the way we did you can put 20 here and for the uh, exam you can put 15. so that is pretty much all you need to do for this class and also because you are a subject teacher and a class teacher at the same time you, you might decide to put all your scores from the subject teacher angle if you are a subject teacher and a class teacher at the same time and you are the one taking the children the same subject like a Greek and basic science you can also you can as well also do that while uh, using the uh, subject teachers uh, sub menus so I hope when you are done you click on the insert I hope you guys are following all right, you click on the start, and that is all you need to do. You go to the next person, you repeat the same processes over and over till you are done with all the 22 candidates. In your case, it might be 14, it might be 20, it might be 25, it might be any number of candidates assigned to you as the class teacher. Is that okay? So, that is all you need to do. I hope this video is helpful and this video is, is easy to comprehend please i look forward to hear from you don't forget to hit that subscribe button like and share this video to friends and every other colleague of yours bye bye see you in the next video